Hope you felt special that day. Mm -hmm. I, you know how special it was? Five of your kids came. That's pretty special. Almost all of them. It's a nice article in the paper. <laughs> it was yeah. a great article. It's going to be 16 <laughs> Monday. I know you didn't want a lot of limelight, but it had to be in the paper. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. An achievement award for your whole lifetime. Good, good, good. I'm yeah. proud of you. I can't, I'm waiting. I'm just, I'm just trying to get some Thanksgiving break. <laughs> I just want to be able to. I'm very tired. I'm running over four hours. Ah, November 1st already. How about that? Hey, six more I have slammed by, man. No, six more days. Ah, uh, you're here till January. You're here to January. I know. Chris, are we ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call to order the Wednesday, November 1st meeting, regular meeting of the school committee. Please join me in a pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, for which it stands, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In compliance with open meeting law, we are right now recording and live broadcasting this meeting. And just for the record, we have one of our school committee members who is joining us remotely. So all votes tonight will be roll call. David Barslow specifically is the one who's joining us remotely. And David, you can hear us clearly, correct? Yes, I can. Okay. And at this time, we'll take a moment of silence and we'll observe that for all those who serve in the military and for all those who protect us. Amen. Thank you. Sarah, could we please have a roll call? Mayor View? Here. Mr. Wagner? Here. Mr. Barslow? Present. Mr. Doubt? Here. Mrs. Perrett? Mrs. Schofield? Here. Mr. Shumsky? Here. Mr. Lamoth? Here. Mr. Gerard? Present. Mr. Bernard? Here. Mrs. Lopes? Present. Mr. Zatella? Yes. 11 present, one absent. Thank you, Sarah. Public announcements by committee members. I'll start to my left, Vice Chair. Don Lamoff? Yes, uh, about a week or so ago, I, the superintendent, Grace Schofield, myself, and uh, Scott Chaplin went to visit Mountain View School in East, East Hampton. It was a new school that just opened. It's a very nice school. They put three elementaries and one middle school into one building. There's about a thousand kids in the building, but they have three separate wings. And each wing has a principal, but they have no vice principals. And they have one head of school. So really, they have one principal and three vice principals. But the building was in very good shape. It was a beautiful layout because of the property they have. It, mm. All you see is the nice uh, mountain, mountain range with all the colors at the time. They went through and explained to us how they got to where they're at. And that's where we're heading with Barry. We're going to have to go through that, those processes. Thank you. Thank you. Grace Schofield? All set. Sam Shumsky? Yes, I just wanted to sit, wish or hope everyone had a happy Halloween. I wanted to thank the mayor's office for a wonderful spectacular. We had about 80 vendors there and about 6,000, 7,000 people that showed up. It was a wonderful event and I had a great time. Thank you. It was spectacular. Thank yeah. you. Chat Satella, anything? Thank you. All set. Doug Gerard? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I'd just like to take a moment um, as the fall season is coming to um, a close, I would like to just congratulate all the, uh, the student athletes who participated uh, in the fall uh, sports. And a special thank you to all of our coaches who put uh, endless amount of hours in um, coaching these uh, students. And for those of you who are still uh, in the Western Mass Tournament or the uh, state tournament, best of luck to you. And I would also like to remind all of the uh, residents that uh, next Tuesday, is a, a big day in Chicopee, and I urge um, uh, the residents to, uh, to vote. Thank you. Thank you, Tim Wagner. Jason Doubt. All set, Mayor. And Ronald Bernard. All set, thank you, Mayor. And David Barslow. I'm all set, Mayor, thank you. Thank you. Superintendent. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I'm all set, but just saying good evening to everyone. Thank you. 
Good evening as well. Thank you. We have no one for a public input, and we actually have no visitors scheduled, so we'll move on to minutes 23-11-1. Move that the minutes of the regular meeting of the school committee held on October 18th, 2023 be approved. Vice Chair Susan Zatella. Motion to approve. Any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, we'll take a roll call, Sarah. Mr. Dow? Yes. Mrs. Schofield? Yes. Mr. Shumsky? Yes. Mr. Lamoth? Yes. Mr. Gerard? Yes. Mr. Bernard? Yes. Mrs. Lopes? Yes. Mr. Zatella? Yes. Mayor View? Yes. Mr. Wagner? Yes. Mr. Barcelow? Yes. 11 yes. Motion carries. Reports 23-11-2. Report on personnel action taken. I'd like to invite Ms. Deb Green up to the podium. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. This covers the period from October 11th through October 25th. You have a total of 10 new hires on your report. There are three resignations. Of those new hires, two are teachers, two are paras. We have officially gone to our orientations for once a week during the slow season. And as of today, this afternoon, we have 70 postings open on school spring. 27 of those are unit A or the teachers. 20 are unit E, the paraprofessionals or teaching assistants. And of those, 21 of those positions involve special ed. And then of those 70, 15 of those are still new positions that we are hiring for. Thank you. Thank you, Deb. Any other discussion on reports on personal personnel action? Dr. Marcus Ware, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Floor. Mayor, thank you. Um, in the spirit of Ms. Perrette, when we speak about our professional development for our teachers, I just want to bring people's attention to, we have multiple day conferences for many of our administrators that will be in attendance, um, including myself and some of the members of the school committee who will be attending the mass, mass joint conference next week, um, as well as we have multiple single day um, conferences for um, many of our staff. So stemming from School Nutrition Association, all the way down to the mass administration administrators for special education and as you can see in your your handout it goes on and on so one of the big upcoming professional developments we have is November 7th next week for our unit A teachers we have a lot of offerings um, for our staff so we're looking forward to this day um, where uh, as a new having a new team on board is really exciting to look at the professional development opportunities coming together for all of our staff and district thank you thank you well said vice chair we have a retirement, which do you want to share? No, I don't have it. I got it right here. Thank you. Paul Clark Frosick. We just want to recognize one of our newly retired arts teacher. Culinary I'm arts. sorry, culinary arts teacher, thank you, uh, at the C, part of the CTE program at Chicopee Comp, mm -hmm. Carl oh. Krejcik, 21 years and eight months, and I would, I would like to say thank you, Carl, for your service. I wish you the best in your retirement. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yes, so 21, year, uh, 21 years and eight months uh, from uh, uh, Krywitz. That's how you say that last name. I want to give it the respect it's due. So we thank him for his service. Thank you. New business, 23-11-3. Move that the bills warrant S102023 totaling $651,445.77 be approved. Don, can I get a motion? Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Any discussion on the warrants? Uh, Sam, could you please read those warrants into the official record? Yes. I will read the total of the both warrants and we will act upon each individually. For athletics, $19,882. Food services, $217. $217,266, $315,274 for general expenses. Grants, $234,478. Uh, 
Maintenance, $51,773. Special Education, $202,475. Student Activities, $3,547. Transportation, $1,384,780. Telecommunications, $13,999. Sales Tax, $974 for a grand total of $2,444,000. $453. Thank you. And just for the viewing audience, we'll be voting on the first warrant. That's S-102-023 for $651,445.77. Any further discussion? We'll take a roll call. Mr. Dowd? Yes. Mrs. Schofield? Yes. Mr. Shumsky? Yes. Mr. Lamont? Yes. Mr. Gerard? Yes. Mr. Bernard? Yes. Mrs. Lopes? Yes. Mr. Zatella? Yes. Mayor View? Yes. Mr. Wagner? Yes. Mr. Barcelo? Yes. 11, yes. Motion carries 23-11-4. Move that the bills warrant S102723 totaling $1,793,007.94 be approved. Grace, can I get a motion? Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Any discussion on the second warrant? Seeing none, Sarah, we'll take a roll call. Mr. Dow? Yes. Mrs. Schofield? Yes. Mr. Chomsky? Yes. Mr. Lamont? Yes. Mr. Gerard? Yes. Mr. Bernard? Yes. Mrs. Lopes? Yes. Mr. Zatella? Yes. Mayor View? Yes. Mr. Wagner? Yes. Mr. Barcelo? Yes. 11, yes. Motion carries. That concludes our, our agenda tonight. I think this might be the fastest meeting in school Chicopee School Committee history. Uh, if not, it's pretty close to it. At this time, uh, I'd like to ask our vice chair to read our executive session. Move that the school committee adjourn into executive session pursuant to MGLC 30AS 21A7 to comply with or act under the authority of any general or special law. Approval of ex executive session minutes for the session held on October 4th, 2023, and pursuant to MGLC 30A S 21A 3, to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining with the United Food and Commercial Workers Union, which is school cafeteria workers, custodial unit, technical unit, and school nurses, and not to reconvene an open session. The chair declares that an executive session is necessary to protect the bargaining position of the body. So we have a motion to head into executive session and we'll take a roll call. Mr. Doubt? Yes. Mrs. Schofield? Yes. Mr. Shumsky? Yes. Mr. Lamoth? Yes. Mr. Gerard? Yes. Mr. Bernard? Yes. Mrs. Lopes? Yes. Mr. Zatella? Yes. Mayor View? Yes. Mr. Wagner? Yes. Mr. Barcelo? Yes. 11, yes. Motion carries. Thank you for joining us this evening. Yeah.